to the movie preview review, where we review movies based on only watching their previews. Today, we're going to react, review, and then rip off of the trailer for the upcoming Hulu series. Hulu. Hulu. I know, it's our first Hulu series on the channel. Uh, Castle Rock. It's a, it's a show that combines basically all of the craziness that's in Stephen King's head that he wrote on all these books over the years. And then J.J. Abrams came along and was like, well, hey, I can... Put it all together, make something super crazy about it's a town. Stephen Kingoverse. It's the Kingoverse. So we're gonna get a gunslinger in this at any point too. Is that really I, the connecting? I thread? don't know. It seems like they just smushed all the big ideas in and just <sighs> tormenting one poor town in uh, New England. Uh, and it's called Stephen King is so Castle scary. Rock. I can't. I started to read The Shining and I had to put it away because it was very upsetting. Also in Pet Cemetery, that movie, when. He brings the 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 motorbike uh, tire that's spinning down on that kid's face. Uh, never looked back. I was like, "Well, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares about this forever." There's another nightmare fuel for one human. I can't. <clears throat> I don't need any more. So I'm wildly not informed on Stephen King stuff. I think this guy is it's probably a little the... bit more than Jay is. But let's find out what let's goes on in Castle let's Rock. Let's party. I fear for this place. Everyone's got a theory how it started, about Castle Rock's original sin. Was it the Puritans who settled here? Or was it the mills where we grew rich by scraping God's earth until it bled? Was that when he turned his back on this town? Whenever it began, whoever's sin we're paying for, we're trapped in a cycle that stretches back centuries. There's blood in every backyard, inside every house. People say, it wasn't me, it was this place. Or you could move. Yeah. Or you could kill your town with fire and start another town. Yeah, it's called Blassel Block. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Rassel Clock. Ooh. Yep. That's a good one. Just move the letters around. <laughs> ah, an anagram. Mm hmm. No one will ever figure it out. Talk about a good trailer in that. It still spooked me, mm. but I still have zero idea what's happening there. Like, zero clue. There's an alligator. There's a prison. There's a guy with the paper mache mask face. I think that's Shawshank. Is that Shawshank? Yeah. So, it, this, this show combines a lot of the elements from all of the books. So, there's, like, Shawshank. It's... There's, There's also a shape-shifting uh, interdimensional beast in the sewers. Yeah, the, the town actually takes is built on a giant turtle floating in space. Uh, that's not... Is that... I believe that's part of the... Isn't that the... the that's, isn't that... Uh, that's a different series of books. I thought not? that was when the ex the big explanation of it of like it is like this fear entity from like outer space. Oh yeah, that's but true. But like the alt the the other end of the spectrum, the good version. Of I thought like that the, was the disc thing. Those disc books. could be. I don't know, man. I know there's a. If I got it wrong, I apologize. <sighs> but take him to task, internet. Get him. Get him. That was my original sin, uh, and I now await all uh, Stephen Kingian uh, horrors that await me uh, in the shadows and the corners and the just out of my vision. Uh, but that's the thing. Here, here's the they, they they pose the question: What did we? That what did somebody do in the past for us to earn all of just just horribleness in this town? And here's where I'm gonna say this show is going to fail everybody because J.J. Abrams 
is the executive producer. Yeah. And we all know JJ is phenomenal at the setup oh, and yeah. coming up with the formula uh -huh. and just we all saw season horrible. Six. We all saw season six. Yeah. Is horrible at the end game. He he can't he can't tie everything up. It's he's horrible at it. Alias lost um, the, uh, Star Wars. Uh, he did pretty good with Star Trek. I didn't mind the. Reboots. I like the Star yeah, Trek. The re reboot's fine. Except killing all the robots with VC boys. But actually, that wasn't J.J. Abrams. That was uh... Felicity. They went back and they time jumped in Felicity. Oh, yeah, what? Man. And they cut Carrie's hair. Honestly, I can take the time jump. It was the haircut mm. that I had it. I had more of a problem with. Mm. I've liked her since uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and just Nah, man. Those those locks nah, are man. beautiful. Nah, man. Uh, Wait, she's in Funny I Shrunk the Kids? I believe, she, I believe that's right. Oh! I think she was the babysitter that chased the kids up to the ad. Oh, I didn't know that. I think. Or was she in Honey I Blew oh, up man. the Kids? You she are, was in one of those movies. She, you are making, you're just making some wide sloths. Like, you're just going to get some She was a Disney internet. kid, and I had the Disney Channel back in the day. Get him, comments. Get him. <laughs> Get him. But here's the I thing. I play it real close to the vest <laughs> with a lot of comments. I'm like, I, I know the internet well enough to know if I'm not an expert on it. I'm just like, light lipped. Like, Say it with confidence. Keep it light and pithy, Jay, because the internet is going to tell you all about it. Like, you make a comment about Moon Knight that is not <laughs> correct, and you're going to get a lot of comments. Well, I don't know why Moon Knight was the poll, but there we are. If I'm wrong, I apologize. I look forward to your uh, debasing of me in the comment section. Uh, if I'm wrong, I apologize. You know me, I'm always on board with being mean to Lashley. <laughs> but here's the thing. What is the sin? What happened in the past? Because it's got to be... It's probably bad. It's got to be wildly horrible yeah. to like warrant all of the visitation of just every evil thing Stephen King's come up with. Because like, he comes up with some really nasty stuff. To torture people in New England. I like the idea that Stephen... Well, because Stephen <coughs> King is technically in his own universe. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that, like, Stephen King did something real bad. And, like, he's in the town, too. And, like, he did something, like, real bad. And so all of his books are, like, coming to life. Like, it's like a super scary version of the Goosebumps movie. That's ex... Yes! Uh, if you didn't say it, I was. Yeah, that's the Goosebumps <laughs> movie. Yeah. Go back and rewatch that movie. It's pretty good. It's not, it ain't it ain't bad. It ain't bad. But yeah, I mean, technically, this this is a show that could last a very long time since it's got a whole I bunch know, of source material of like, oh, then the town's invaded by sentient cars, and then oh, a bunch yeah. of teenagers get psychic powers, and then aliens show up. I just up. want Morgan Freeman from Shawshank to fight. Tim Curry as it, the It Monster. Oh. I'm just saying well, there's a lot of possibilities for, for f inner, inner monster fighting. You know what I mean? Yes, there is. And then Vampire Show from Salem's Lot. That was oh, the book yeah. I read. That was, that was pretty scary. That kind of messed me up Oof. as a kid. Uh, and the, the Tommy Knockers. And then the Lang someone gets displaced in time. The Langlier show up. Yeah, I, you're kind of exiting my realm of knowledge of Stephen there King stuff. When well, you were a little. Remember, you might have been a little young for it, but in those those early '90s, they had a lot of those Stephen King uh, made-for-TV movies. Oh, okay. And the it, it was one of them, and it was like not that great. Uh, but I watched all of those because oh, okay. they were made for TV. So yeah, it was why not? Scary, they were scary, they, scary yeah, but not too bad. But not too. Uh, so that's how not I got like the my... remake of it where it was like, oh, like I'm like I'm gonna you're gonna watch this kid get his arm ripped off. Like, not like, oh, it's a lunatic. It's like, oh, goo. Goo. Yeah. Ugh. No. So, this show looks really scary and could be really good for a little while. But, because it's J.J. Abrams. Here's the thing, though. One of these times, J.J. is going to pull it out. You know what I mean? He's going to stick the landing eventually. You know what I mean? It's true. This could be the one. He's due. He could stick the landing so hard that everyone just, it just, your brain just melts out of your ears. It's possible. He's, yeah, Maybe. Man. I don't know, though. You know what? When you learn how to skateboard, you gotta fall a lot before you finally land that, like, double kick flip. That's true. Is that a move? I don't know. <laughs> but you're gonna land it, people are gonna go, oh! And, like, but, like, that's the, that's the clip that makes it onto, you know, YouTube, not all the falling. Unless the falling's hilarious, then you're totally yeah, you going get, like, viral. Get rocked or something but, like, like that. he's gonna land it, and it's gonna change 
Well, it's possible. Guys, ladies, what do you think? Is, are you going to watch this? Do you trust JJ after all this time? Do you, do, you, do you love Stephen King? Do you think this amalgamation of the Kingiverse... Um, that's the, the title for Kingiverse it. Kingiverse works. Uh, that tracks. Do you think this is going to work out? Let us know. Also, what do you think the original sin was to warrant all of this just this horrific punishment of slow psychological torture and murdering of each other? Yeah. Does it... How do it be... Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Or maybe it's like something like where like you wouldn't expect. Like it's like it was the the sin that pushed them over was like someone like agreed to bring like a dessert to a potluck and then they just bought like a store bought pie and it was like that was the thing that set <laughs> the motion. I mean, it was a sinful town, but that was just like that was the thing that made like that was the straw that broke the evil back. Evil camel's back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It did. Like, subscribe. Do that YouTube that you do so well. The We're so glad you're here. The guacamole is extra. It is. We shouldn't have to say it, we but should. we do. But we do. Uh, we appreciate you guys very much. Uh, and Darius Flatter, go and prove us wrong. See you Bye. later. Bye.